Welcome to BLAM. Uh, I'm Samantha. I'm Sama. And we um, just graduated from Cranbrook Schools, which is yeah. an independent pre-K through 12 independent school in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan, which is the suburbs of Detroit. Yeah, so um, we, we're a private school. And um, from 9th to 12th grade, we have a boarding program, but there's also day students. I'm personally a, a boarder. I came in ninth grade. And I'm a day student. I started Cranbrook in seventh grade. So before I want to talk about BLAM, I wanted to first give you guys a brief introduction to Horizons Upper Bound. This is what we know as Hub at our school. It was a nonprofit, it is a nonprofit program founded in 1965 at our school. It, um, its main mission is to prepare students with limited opportunities from the Detroit area who have potential to become first generation college students and come from low income families. And Hub's goal is to academically support these students year round through two sessions, summer and winter, through which these students continue to attend their high schools in Detroit, but come to our school on the weekends in the winter and stay on campus in the summer to take classes. Um, Hub is providing services that assist students in pursuing and achieving their dreams and goals for future academic endeavors and provide them opportunities that they won't normally get in their normal high schools. Okay. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about what BLAM was made for, which is mainly the summer phase of Hub. And this is where students come to our school and they stay there for about six weeks. And um, they say they live in the dorms um, during the weekdays and they go back home on the weekends. And um, it's really a packed day for them. They uh, have an academic curriculum of math, reading, science, all your core subjects, in addition to standardized test prep and also um, preparing these students for college. Um, I know the Hub students go on a college visit where they tour around like Michigan colleges and also we provide support with um, college essays. And um, after the academic day, there are, um, there's opportunities for students to expand their horizons through both cultural immersion and physical fitness. Um, this was actually a project that our friend worked on. It's called Biking Around the World, where um, he created presentations about different countries for students to learn about while they do like spinning or something. Okay, so what is BLAM? Um, our group of senior May students created this pretty fun introduction video that we would like to share with you. What is going on in this problem? I've been looking at it all day and I still don't know what's going on. My teachers never taught me how to do this problem. Having problems with math and need a leg up. What's that? Well, you're in luck. Wait, who are you? How do you get in my head? Who are you? Looks like you're having trouble with math, Safe. My name is Evan. I think you could really use Blam. Blam. Let me show you. Whoa, how'd you do that? Is this what Blam teaches you? No. Blam is an integrated math summer course and curriculum guide with quizzes, tutorials, and resources ranging from elementary algebra to ACT prep. Everything you need to become a math whiz. Oh, I would love to be a math whiz and get 36 on my ACT math. Well, fear not, because Sama here can teach you. Here at Bland, we have a ton of helpful resources to guide you to ACT mastery. Sama here has been working day and night. Blam has all the resources you need to hone your problem solving skills on the ACT or any other math test. The website here has detailed tutorials, explanations, and a vast array of guides on every single topic, plus a range of instructional videos to help you along. So that is a website? Well, sort of. Let's let Alan explain it. Okay, Alan, we just teleported two feet. So? Anyways, here's Alan. Alan, why don't you explain Canvas to our young man Sapphic here? Of course. Canvas is the online learning classroom that we use to help students learn with BLAM. On Canvas, we have many different tutorials, hundreds of practice problems, and an online grading tool that helps track your mastery. Wow, guys, this all looks so exciting. I'm so ready to learn math with BLAM. Well, Safi, I'm glad you're excited. But remember, BLAM wouldn't be here if it weren't for the people who made it happen. 
Okay, so why blended learning? This math curriculum is inspired by Dr. Catan, who is the founder of ICAE, the Indus Center for Academic Excellence, who um, started this mathematic academy in Southfield, Michigan. And at this academy, he teaches math in a very different way. Instead of you know going from pre-calc to calculus or like learning algebra by these t major topics, he instead strongly believes that students need to learn math through a uh, critical problem solving skills way. And instead of you know, learning formulas and memorizing numbers, they acquire these skills that are, enable them to you know, encounter new problems and be optimistic and be able to apply these problem skills. Yeah, so basically his philosophy is that you can solve any sort of math problem with just the four basic operations, you know, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it's just a matter of developing the critical thinking and problem solving skills necessary. And there's no right way for a student to try to attempt to solve a math problem. This now enables them to you know, figure out what works best for them and to create their own individualized learning methods. OK, so how we got involved in BLAM was through a program at school called the Senior May Project. And it's where um, Cranbrook allows its senior students to go out and sort of work in internships, or um, it's just a way for us to gain work experience that we might not get when we're just like sitting in a classroom in school. Um, it runs for three weeks, and students sort of have the option of either exploring one of their interests more deeply or sort of broadening their horizons. For me and Salma, it really gave us a chance to um, explore our interests more deeply because we both really like math. Um, but for other students, like you can do anything from banking to like working at a private jet company to working at a bakery. There's really a big variety. And um, so for BLAM, there were nine students that signed up to be on the team, and that's all of us right there. Um, and so we really learned how to work as a team as well as sort of develop our interest in math. So why did we get involved? I personally um, had previous experience working with Hub. I signed up to become a tutor my sophomore year um, and devoted money of my Saturday mornings to help tutor these Hub students. And when I was browsing around, like looking for a senior May project, my math teacher approached me and was like, we have this really cool project called BLAM. It's our second, it'll be our second year doing it. I think you'd be really like it because you like math and design. And personally, I found this project to be a way to give a little, back, a little bit back to the Cranbrook community and the Detroit area community, a little bit of some, what I had, some of the stuff I had learned through my seven, six, seven years at Cranbrook. Yeah, so I also had a similar story. I was approached by my math teacher as well. We have the same math teacher. And um, it, I saw it as a way to help others get excited about math. I mean, like, um, when I came to Cranbrook, I started really liking math, especially when I took the calculus classes there. So this is also a way for me to like sort of give back to Cranbrook in that way, like getting others as enthusiastic about math as I am. Yeah, we wanted to make math a more appealing and um, fun way for students to learn. And a lot of students are like, oh, I can't do math. I don't like math because they're like afraid of making mistakes or such. So we try to um, make BLAM more appealing to these students. So um, we believe that with BLAM, we're not only helping out the Cranbrook community, but also the Detroit metropolitan community as a whole. Um, so the way that BLAM is designed, there's like tutorials and like quizzes that students can go through. And they don't necessarily have to be enrolled in a class. They can use this as like a supplement to any of their high school classes. Like if a Cranbrook student is struggling in math and they're struggling with like pre-calculus or something, they can go to BLAM and look through the tutorials and sort of build that foundation that might not have previously been there. So, so how was BLAM and Canvas used last year? Last year was the very first year that Senior May students started working on this project. It was mainly used as a supplement to their daily in-class math classes, uh, mostly used for taking tests and quizzes online. Um, last year's team did a really great job of creating awesome solution videos that gave them step-through-step -step procedures for how to approach math problems. And they also created pages for them for extra practice, because the only way to get better at math is more practice. 
But um, something we noticed when we first went into Canvas this year was the simple designs, like you know, just text, hyperlinks, and then a lot of white space. Okay. So, um, so in the first week um, when we started out with Blam, we had a lot of ideas, um, but we really weren't sure how to execute them in Canvas, and we kind of felt limited by last year's work, especially in terms of design. Um, so they had like text links, like hyperlinks, and like very simple, um, like not a ton of pictures. So we felt like, oh, we should probably, you know, stick to the framework that they had last year. But um, in our second week, some Canvas representatives came to visit, and that really broadened our perspective and allowed us to um, continue like building Blam. So, um, so. As you can see right here, this is our ACT math page right now. There's a, like a lot of picture links. I think it looks nice, like Sama <laughs> designed it. And um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, so they showed us how other teachers were using Canvas. Like, again, there's like a lot of pictures. It's very interactive. Like the students can be really engaged in it and it looks nice. So that sort of allowed us to be more creative with the designs. And it also helped us work out some tech technical difficulties. So when we first came into Canvas, we were just kind of clicking around, like not knowing what we were doing. And um, so when the Canvas representatives came, like we didn't know how to allow the students to both enter like fractions, like if the answer to a question was three fourths, um, then we didn't know how to allow them to enter both like three fourths and 0.75, which sounds really simple, but it was really confusing at the time. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. So they helped us work that out. And also, um, we didn't understand how to like put the questions in banks. But then we like realized how to do that. And we kind of built question banks for like algebra or geometry or pre-calculus. So if the teachers wished to, they could sort of create their own quizzes um, instead of using the ones that we like already pre-made created for them. So it was really a journey from like brainstorming, like, oh, we have all these ideas. How do we do this? So when Canvas came in, like, this is how you can do it, and really took our like, goals and showed us how to achieve them. Yeah. So this is our homepage for our BLAM homepage for this year. Um, as you can see, we did a redesign of the website. Um, our friend made a BLAM logo to make it more fun. We added a lot more quizzes, um, kept making more solution videos. Something that we felt was necessary to be added this year was extra resources outside of BLAM. For instance, if a student is taking a geometry class at their high school and has a test coming up but doesn't know where to look for extra practice or resources, we created pages for them to go in, briefly like brush up on some quick um, geometry stuff and take a few practice quizzes here and there to get them better prepared. Um, furthermore, we have added the ACT, SAT math prep pages. Um, and created, um, uploaded all the problems, extra problems for them to explore on their own time. Okay, yeah, so. we're gonna show the, our website right now. This is how our um, BLAM homepage looks like when the students sign in. We have our intro video up here. Then we go into our BLAM quizzes, which is mainly what the BLAM Hub students are using currently. Um, we broke them into three levels based on their um, abilities with math. Say if a student wants to go into the level C, take a quiz. Um, let's just see. Okay, so say if a student got this question wrong, then the link for a solution video comes up. Here's so in this problem, Britt is trying to buy school supplies. And he has a $20 bill. And we're told that with this $20 bill, he can buy 40 pencils, or 25 erasers, or 80 bookmarks. So, since we don't know the price of any of those, let's set variables for each one. We'll call P the price of the pencil, E the price of an eraser, and B the price of a bookmark. So, we know that with these $20, he was able to buy 40 pencils, which means 40 times the price of a pencil must equal 20. Now, also with this $20, he was able to buy 25 erasers. So 25E equals 20. And lastly, he was able to buy 80 bookmarks. So 80 times the price of a bookmark will equal 20. Now, we only have one variable in each of these equations, so we can solve them. So P is 20 divided by 40, 
So P is 0 0.5, which means that the price of each pencil, pencil is 50 cents. Now we can solve this by dividing 20 over 25. So E must be 0 0.8. So the price of an eraser is 80 cents. And lastly, 20 divided by 80 must equal B. So the price of a bookmark is 25 cents. Now, Britt wants to buy complete sets that include all three of these. So we need to find the total price of, each, of getting one of each of these. So 0.5 plus 0.8 plus 0.25 equals 1.55. Now with this $20, we need to see how many complete sets he can get if they each cost $1.55. So we take 20 and divide by 1.55. Now this answer is about 12.9. However, we have to remember that he wants to buy, buy complete sets. So we have to take this 0.9 off because he can only buy 12 complete sets because 0.9 of a set isn't enough. So really, with the $20, Britt can buy 12 sets. Okay. And then, so this is how all of our quizzes typically work, either multiple choice or fill in the blank. And then if you go back to our homepage, um, these are our extra resources that the students can use outside of Hub. Um, let's take a look at pre-calculus. This is Samantha's work. Yeah. Um, let's say a look at vectors, um, a brief introduction, definition of vectors, helpful Khan Academy videos, and a quiz at the end for the students to um, gauge their understanding of the material. And just to be clear with the solution videos, um, sometimes the students uh, will like solve it in a different way and like our solution video just shows them one way to do it. It's not necessarily like always the correct way. Like however the students can solve it and come to the correct answer, like that's always a correct way. Um, here's the ACT prep. We created, you know, each division with their own pages, and then we also uploaded some extra practice for them to do on their own time. Okay. Okay, and then at the very end, we archived last year's um, work because we don't want to get rid of their work, and then we hopefully create a foundation for next year to make how-to videos to teach the instructors at BLAM and also the students how to navigate Canvas. So that's our website. Okay. And um, speaking of next year, we have a lot of hopes for next year's um, group of senior May students. And I actually wrote this. Okay, so um, one thing that uh, Hub was hoping that we could do, but we didn't quite get time to do, was align common core standards to some of the curriculum there. Um, and we're hoping next year they can really like work more on that. And um, another thing is uh, we didn't get a lot of use out of the discussions that I know Canvas like, has the capability of really expanding on. So we were hoping that we could get like, discussions for students on each page. So if they had confusion on a concept or a question, they can sort of like, discuss amongst themselves before coming to like, a teacher. We are also hoping um, for uh, interactive examples, so um, in things like algebra and pre-calculus, graphing is a huge component of really mastering those skills. So um, we are hoping that next year they can sort of integrate more interactive examples so students can actually get comfortable with graphing like a log logarithmic equation or something. Um, and another thing that we are hoping could, um, that would be integrated next year is the ability for students to move fluidly from level to level. So right now, um, so there's like a bunch of sections under the BLAM course page and um, each section is like level one or level two or level three. But obviously over the course of six weeks, each student's skill level is gonna change. So um, we really wanna integrate the ability for students to move like fluidly from level to level and the teachers can see all the data from the previous section beforehand. And while we're on the topic of levels, like a solid criteria of exactly like what level one, level two, and level three means, and like the skills that the student should master. Because right now, um, how we organize them is kind of just a placement test, like how, like if they get above 60%, um, perhaps they're level three. Uh, if they get like below like 30%, they're level one. So, 
Something we also wanted to um, explore around were, were outcomes and modules and badges. We really wanted to work with that with our ACT page to make it more gamified, make it more appealing to the students to like motivate them you know, to keep working at it and get more content. And so hopefully we're looking forward to next year's taking it to the next level. Yeah. Yep. Um, and lastly, we want to thank everyone here for coming to our presentation. We want to thank Instructure for having us, Hob for providing this wonderful program, Dr. Gatan, and our fellow GLAM teammates so. for all their work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.